morning everyone, welcome to The Blind Angler. It's 5 a.m. I'm with Joey Macro from Essex Foraging and Fishing. Hello guys. If you haven't already, please do check out Essex Foraging and Fishing. I will put a link in the description. Nice Go on over. Whoa, it's I'm, nice, a, I'm a nice guy. That's good of you. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Today uh, is day four of the fishing trips and uh, I'm on my way to the Bristol Channel Hinkley Point to go after cod. Uh, there is a chance of a strap conger, uh, formback ray and, uh, and bass. But uh, the main target for myself is cod. I would like a cod for the channel. Um, this is going to be my fourth trip this winter to the Bristol Channel after a cod. So fingers crossed. Um, I'm just going to do everything I can. Um, we've got a two hour drive, we're going to be fishing the, uh, the, high, the tide up and then back down again. High tide's around about midday. Um, at the moment the weather is very uh, drizzly. Yeah, drizzly is the right word. Yeah, right? but at least the, the wind's low. Yep. Um, so we're on our way. Joe's feeling confident. I am, I've had a really good week so far. Um, so yes, I am feeling quietly confident. I don't want to Good man. No, 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 man. Yeah, Joe's had a great time down here. He's had some cracking fish. Uh, check out the other videos from uh, the, the previous videos on the channel uh, with Joe and you can see what he's been up to. And, or you can head on over to Essex Foraging and Fishing. Uh, but he's had a great time down here in Devon. And uh, yeah, it's been good. But I am absolutely shattered. I think we got to bed around about half past one last night. Um, and uh, up at, uh, up at four, so a little bit tired, but I'm sure once I get there, start fishing, the adrenaline will kick in and uh, we'll be golden. So I'm uh, gonna sit back, kick back, relax with Joe, and um, got about an hour and 40 to our drive, and um, we'll soon be getting a, a lead in the water. Right, we have been traveling for uh, around about 40 minutes. Um, I just wanted to quickly come on and uh, see how confident is feeling between Joe and I. So. How are you feeling, Joe? Confident. Yeah, Joe's feeling confident. How do you think we'll be feeling on the way home later today? Buzzing. Buzzing. I'll have a 20 pound cod in my boot. <laughs> uh, right, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not so confident. I, I mean, I think we, like we said, we, I think we see fish. Uh, I, I really hope that I can get a cod for you guys. I am trying my best. Um, and uh, I hope to uh, take out something decent today. I'll take any cod today. Um, a poor cod? I'll, yeah, I'll take a poor cod. But I would, uh, I would just love a cod. I really, really would. Probably um, a codling, mate. So if I get one, I will be bouncing on the way home. That is for sure. And uh, just looking forward to getting a, a bait in the water. To be fair, and get going. Um, <coughs> And I can see if I don't get a cod quite like already on, I can see today going by quite quickly and the, the pressure and the panic kind of setting in like, I'm not gonna get one. Um, whereas Mr. Cool next to me. Gotta stay confident. Is ready. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy. I am confident. I'm just nervous. <laughs> okay, so we are at Hinkley Power Station, which is up there. I don't wanna film it too much. Um, so we are gonna unload the car, get our waders on, get our coats on, etc. Because it is a bit drizzy, it is a bit cold. Uh, but we're gonna go and fish over that way. Um, there's a wall there. Uh, we're gonna make our way over towards that wall, um, and then out and uh, meet the incoming tide. Um, cheers, mate. And uh, and then we're gonna fish the tide up, and then we're gonna fish the tide on the way back out as well. Uh, species that we can catch here today are number one, cod, codling, uh, conger, formback ray and bass. Um, there is a chance of flatfish uh, like maybe a sow or a flounder um, and whiting and dogfish could potentially make a show but we've never known them to come off this mark. Um, so basically what I'm saying is I'm probably going to just catch whiting and dogfish. <laughs> but the tide is coming in, it's coming in quick, it's nice and flat. Um, it's very muddy in front of us, but out to the side here is all broken up ground, uh, a bit of kelp and so on like that, which brings the fish in to feed. So uh, hopefully it's not going to be too long before we get a, some bait in the water um, and hopefully catch a fish um, nice and soon. But I'm going to get some clothes on, 
well, get my coat in that one because I'm a little bit cold. Okay, so we are fishing. Uh, we, I've already had a cast out, uh, but we're a bit further ahead. Um, the tide literally turned and raced in, which it does do in the Bristol Channel, and you do need to have your wits about you. Um, so I'm lucky I'm with, with Joe. Um, Joe's been very uh, observant of, of the water and watching what's going on. Obviously, it's our first time fishing this mark together. Um, normally, I fish it with with my dad and uh, my uncle, etc. And we've got obviously they've got a lot more experience than uh, than um, me without vision, as it were. So I've got one rod out, um, which I've got a poly panel on, and um, I've got a whole squid on as bait. I did have a, an eel, which you uh, you may see, um, which uh, gave actually quite a good fight and um, nice bit of fun, first cast and a little eel. Um, so now it's a case of just getting the other one rigged up, get out and uh, hope and pray for a cod. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the, hang on, let me move over here a bit. Right, everyone, I'm sorry about the, the wind. The wind noise. Uh, I've got two rods out, uh, both with Pali Peno. Uh, the right hand one uh, has got um, two massive squid, uh, no, scrap that, two massive lugworm from Ed's bait. Thank you, Ed. And on the left hand side one, we have got um, a whole squid, both on Pali Penos. When you come here, you do need to use Pali Penos because if you get a fish, you need to get it up clear off all the snags. Um, fast retrieve reels um, and fairly powerful rods. I'm not going to say stiff rods but powerful rods but fast retrieve reels are more what you need than anything else. Um, when winding in rod up high and go like the clappers. Um, the reels are loaded up with 20 pound main line with a 60 pound shock leader. Both rigs have got six ounces of lead. I will show you the rigs a little bit later. Um, but that's my setup there. Uh, let's have a little walk over to Joey Macro, Essex Foraging and Fishing. Joe, Hello, mate. you might have to shout just because of the wind, but uh, yeah. what's, your, what's your setup, bub? Um, set up. Um, um, I've got uh, both pulley panel rigs. On this one here, I've got, on my left hand one, I've got blacks and squid. Yeah. And on the other one, I've got commons. Come on, lugworm, uh, lugworm from Ed's Bait, you just said. Yeah. We kindly got them for us, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, hopefully they work today. Um, yeah, all on a uh, six ounce weight at the moment, and it's holding bottom pretty well. So, Indeed. Indeed. At the moment, yeah, it's just, uh, it's constant, you've got to be on your game, but now we've had a bit of time to chill, relax a little bit, and hopefully the fish will start coming in. Indeed, mate, indeed. Yeah, like Joe said, we're using six ounces of lead. The tide, I think, is like a 10.8. It's not a big, big tide for the Bristol Channel, to be fair. Um, we're fishing it in, and then uh, we'll start fishing it back out again. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll be all right. The wind is a, it's a little bit blowy. It's not uncomfortable, um, but it's, uh, it's uh, southwesterly moving into southerly. So... Um, yeah, hopefully uh, it won't be too long before we we can see the uh, the unicorn. But it is uh, currently dry, which is nice. Joey Mackerel there, concentration on his face. Funny looking people say what? Joe? Yeah. Oh, I said yeah. Huh? <laughs> Nothing, mate. <laughs> okay, you are live. Oh, the other one's going. Really? Yeah. Nice. Right, guys, so just had a bite on lugworm. Oh, it's not very light. The other one's just started biting. I'll, I'll go up to the I'll go up to the shoreline, alright? I think it's gone. Keep on coming.
Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh no, he's got a fish. No, he got a fish. Hang on. Hang on. No, oh, would you believe it? Sorry, Wayne, just take control of your. your uh... oh, let's get rid of that. Got a little bass, mate. Nice little bass. Looks like, uh, and his other rod's going off as well, so it looks like he. Uh, um, uh, might have had a little shawl coming through. Yeah. There you go. Nice little bass. We'll get a little closer look at it. Go. Oh, easy, easy, mate. Okay, guys. My first bass of 2022. He's only a babby, but um, he's very much uh, appreciated. That's for sure. Uh, when handling these, be very careful. They got a, a spike down here by the anal gland. Obviously the, the spiky dorsal and also the spikes on the gill plates. But uh, I don't want to keep him out too long. We're going to get him back in straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't the cod, but I did say... It's early days, mate. It's early days. You've mate. had a bass. I did yeah. say bass, conger. Yeah. Oh, that's the other rod. That's the other rod. Should we stay live? We should Actually. stay live. Uh, right, hang on. Okay. That's it. That's your line. I'm going to say it's another little bass. I'm reckoning as well. Okay, so on the pulley panel, uh, that had the whole squid. We had a knot. Gonna bring it in. Bit of weight there. Let's have a walk down. You stay there, Wayne. I'll go and have a little look. Okay, mate. All right. See if he's got anything, shall we? Where's his line? There it is. You can see his orange line there. Oh, he has. Oh, he's got a little strap. He's got an eel. He's got an eel. You gotta love him. Mind you, I think that's a green eel. It's an eel, mate. Eel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop recording that now. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, so um, I'm back out. Sorry, Joe and I have a bit of a laugh. Um, I'm back out with both rods. Look where I'm on both. I've got two on the right-hand side and one big one on the, uh, on the left. Um, I wanted to go whole squid, but I don't really want to catch any more eels. Um, so, but it was lovely catching that, that little schoolie bass, that's, that is for sure. Um, so if there's more of them around, I'll take that over eel any day of the week. Um, obviously Joe's had his eel as well, first cast. And um, where, we're all, where we are, we're kind of on like a, a sand bank, which is full of lugworm casts. So hopefully lugworms to bait, and uh, we'll get into a few more fish, fingers crossed. Okay, so um, rods are still out, still with the lugworm on. Um, I'm kind of wishing that I didn't put the lugworm on one of them and that I had whole squid on, because uh, several several years ago now I did have a 13 and a half pound cod off here on whole squid. Um, so I kind of wish I had a whole squid on. Uh, but we'll change that in a little while. But what I wanted to say was, if you're gonna come here, a couple of things. Number one, waders are important as you're gonna get a boot full. That is for sure. Number two, you want to do your homework and your research on this place because it is dangerous. The tide is the second fastest tidal flow in the world. And when it comes in, it comes in at a rate of knots. And when you go down onto the point, it will come in behind you. So you need to keep watching what's going on behind you at all times. And it can, be, it can look like a few inches one minute and then you turn around again and it's a foot or two. So you do need to have your wits about you. Also walking out there, it is very uh, treacherous on the foot. There's weed and rocks all over the place, so uh, you do need to uh, take your time. Don't race down there, and um, and you'll get down there safely and back again. But please, if you are coming, please do do your research and just take it safely. And if you can, fish with people that's fished the mark before. Okay, so two rods out fishing. 
Uh, the one on the right has lugworm, um, a single lugworm. The one on the left has a whole squid and I've got two blacks up the snood. Um, so that's that. Now the rod on the right was actually a gift from my mum and dad for, from, uh, for Christmas a few years back and I brought it up here to use it for the first time. And uh, I was fishing and I said to my dad, I was like, I'm sure I've got a bite on that new rod and I'm sure it's a cod or coddling. And he was like, no, no, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. I wound in, baited up the other rod, left that one out there, turned around, my dad had picked it up, wound in, and uh, basically caught my coddling on my new rod, um, which I said was on the... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just a little little story there. But, uh, yeah, so, ho squid with blacks and uh, a single big, big lugworm from Ed's bait on the right. Let's go over and see what Joe's got on. Joe. Hello mate. What are you, uh, what are you fishing with now? What's the bait situation? Uh, bait situation, I've got uh, squid that I've cut up long ways in half and I've sandwiched that with some carp, carp wing and on the other one, just uh, a whole squid. Lovely. Nothing's happening for me at the moment at the moment. You're, you're the right, oh yeah, oh. you've got a nice knot on your rod there on your left hand side. That, I'm gonna say that's an eel. <laughs> oh, that is squid and black lug. Um, so here's to eel number four. Do you want me to take the phone? Live shot? Yeah. We'll come back to we'll it. We'll come back to it. Okay. Eels. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you're live. Right, guys, so as you've just seen, hopefully I've got the camera right. Uh, I had a bite, my bite, still knocking away. Do the drag up, wind down fast, strike into it. That's a fish. Is it a fish? Yeah, I'm gonna say, well, no, it's not a fish, it's an eel. You reckon it's an eel? Let's go and have a look, shall we? Do you know what? It's going extremely light. I'm gonna say eel. If, oh, the other one's going. Is it? Hey, you got the honey doll hole there, haven't you, Wayne? Yeah, that one has gone, yep. Nothing on that one. So what happened there, guys, is the eels came off that hook and swam over to the other one. <laughs> it's, it's basically gone. Yeah, oh. your bait's still pretty decent on there as well. That flying guy's going to get it. That's <laughs> oh. If you change it from Roddy the Collie to... Eely mealy. <laughs> Eel the, a meal the yield is what I should call it. Yeah. Okay guys, uh, what was it? Four fish, one, two, three, four fish of the day is a is another green eel. My third one. Um, taken a single lugworm. I don't really want too many more of these to be fair, but um, a fish is a fish at the end of the day and uh, we'll get him slipped back. But uh, fingers crossed we might pull out a cod. <laughs> in and amongst all these green eels. Thank you for that fi uh, filming there, Joe. Right, so uh, we have moved down with the tide. Tide is going out pretty quickly now. Came in, it comes in quick, goes out quick. Um, so yeah, we were we were back there a bit. Uh, I don't know where Joe is. I don't know if Joe's moved down or if he's still up there. In fact, I think he's still up there. But. Um, yeah, I've moved down closer to the water. I have just had a knock. I've got whole squid on the right hand side, lug on the left. I did have a knock, but I was sorting my phone out um, to, to be able to record. Um, so I didn't see which one it was on, and that was gone quiet. So I'm guessing it was a lug worm. Um, so I'm gonna wind that one in now, get some fresh bait, and go again. But yeah, tide is back in quite a bit now. So let's just hope we can get a cod on the outgoing of the tide. Okay guys, quick update. Uh, right hand side rod, polypano, uh, six ounce grip uh, with a whole squid. The left rod, I've gone for a peeler crab. Same setup as the other polypano. 
but I've gone for a peeler. Joe's just over there fishing somewhere. I think he's down to one rod, I think he had a bit of a snap off. Uh, I've got to say guys, if you haven't already, please do check out Essex Foraging and Fishing. Joe has been a massive help to me all day, as he always is, and uh, I'm extremely grateful to Joe for the help that he gives me. Um, so thank you, Joe. And um, I thought I heard my bells ringing then, I might have had a little touch. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, please do head over to Essex Foraging and Fishing and, uh, and give Joe a sub and watch his videos because they are brilliant. Lots of content, lots of information and uh, an all round great guy. But uh, please, please God, come on. <laughs> I am trying everything. I have tried blacks, I've tried lug, I've tried black and lug, I've tried squid, I've tried lug and blacks. Which rod is that going? I think it's the fire one. I'm trying everything I can. We were up at five. We didn't get to bed till like half one after fishing yesterday, which is, yeah, that's a bite. Let's have a look. Bring you back in a bit if anything happens. There you go, guys. Look what he's just done. Look what Mr. Wayne's just done. Oh, oh. a nice bass, mate. Thank you very much. Says about, I don't know, three and a half. I'll put it down. Let me put it down. Yeah. Oh. Yep, that is him there. You got the line? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, thank you very much. Hold well on, Wayne. Good. Oh. Guys, what about this one? A nice three pounder. Absolutely brilliant. Whole squid. Great bike. Took some line. Now we're going to get him back straight away. cover. Water is freezing. So in there, just letting him recover in the sir in the water. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah it's off. What a mate. Thank you. Okay, so I am absolutely made up with that bass. That is a PB bass for me. Um, I only weighed one, if you follow the channel, I only weighed one, um, or started weighing one, oh, when was that? I think it was like August, September time, uh, which was £2.9, um, and I've just had one at £3 on the nose, so I'm, I am made up with that. Uh, Joe and I were over there having a little scout when I got the bite, thank goodness for the jingle bells, um, and then as I got closer, it just picked it up and and went and the reel went was screaming um joe's reaction and i completely agree with him i've got an angry eel <laughs> um so to wind in and have have that that little beauty um was absolutely fantastic uh once again a massive thank you to joe for his help and um both rods are out and um i brought the one in that had crab on changed it put on a big squid bait and uh, the other one's got a squid bait as well and I've hit them out as hard as, as, hard as I can um, hoping for the cod uh, but if the cod aren't going to show then bass would be absolutely well to be fair I'll take either or either or nice bass nice cod I'll be happy with either um, just a beautiful day and um, absolutely buzzing with that as you can see the tide is well and truly backing now it's going out pretty quickly uh, we were somewhere right up there just by the rocks actually just up there and that's how much it's gone out quite quickly uh, we've been really lucky with the weather really lucky with the wind um, and what a wonderful weekend it's been or long weekend it's been with Joe and uh, obviously Stefan Ed and Matt as well so uh, Joe's just over there and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before Joe cracks into uh, into another Right guys, so we were right out down there, but we've got, we just got back to the car.
What a beautiful afternoon. We've been so lucky with the weather. The tide's back in. What a glorious day. No, hardly any wind whatsoever. So good to be back. Lovely job. Okay, guys, we are in the car on our way home, Joe and I. And um, it was a great day. We were really lucky with the weather. We were really lucky with the wind. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I had a good time. Um, I fished hard, I'm gutted I didn't get a cod. I am I am trying, I think that's like my, my fourth trip to the Bristol Channel uh, this winter. Um, and I've done three, four, four or five trips to the U, uh, to Chesu. Uh Without any joy, I am trying, uh, I'm trying my best. Um, but I had a great, great time. I'd like to say a massive thank you to to Joe from Essex Foraging and Fishing. Here he is here, just driving, driving the car. And, um, because uh, uh, Joe really helped me today. Um, so a massive thank you to Joe. And uh, please do go over and check out Essex Foraging and Fishing if you haven't already. Um, fantastic content on the channel and there's even more to come. Loads more to come. Uh, just like on the Blind Angler. So if you haven't subscribed to Blind, Blind Angler, please do so. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, please do give us a like. Uh, but until next time, stay safe, tight lines. See you soon, guys.